Hello and welcome to Paper and Moose. It is mail day. I have some large packages sent from viewers such as yourself. So join me as I open them and see what treasures have come through the mail waves. <laughs> It is mail day. Thank you again to everyone. It is much appreciated, as I say in every video. I thought I would just give a quick update on the channel. So I have, we have reached 46,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone uh, that has subscribed, that has recently found the channel. And especially a thank you to those who have been there from the beginning. It is much appreciated. How many times can I say that in this video? <laughs> um, a few of you have asked in the comments about the Civil War Diaries. I am going through them. There were only actually two diaries. Um, the other three booklets are later in years and kind of like a mishmash of uh, bookkeeping, notes, etc. The problem with those is that the, um, the ink has kind of smudged, worn off, and is a little bit difficult to read. So I'm not going to focus so much on those. I'm still working through the first diary. It is very tedious. Even one page that perhaps has three entries can take an hour or more to transcribe, write notes, and cross-reference, um, especially when the, the soldier had a nickname for a certain place. So I am busy trying to find what exactly that place is. I also have the letters from a mother to her son while he was away at college. I'm working on those how I kind of put out the videos, sometimes I put out videos that are just easy for me to edit. You know, I record my recap that day, everything is done, boom, on we go. Other videos take a little bit more time for me, especially if I'm not in the creative mood, so to speak, to do them. Um, it's similar to when authors write or when writers write. They have to kind of be in that zone, in that mood. And if they're not, then sitting there, you know, you can't, what's that? You can't draw blood from a stone. It's not working. That's how it is with me and creating some of my videos as well. If I don't feel that the creative mood is right or that I am on the right path, I kind of stop, put it aside and go to something else. But it eventually comes back around. That's just, that's just how I'm wired. I've been like that even with writing in, in high school and in college and in grad school. <clears throat> so... Bear with me, but yes, those videos will be coming out. It has been very slow in regards to storage units. There pretty much aren't any. Those that are online, the prices are going for an insane amount for like three boxes. I'm not apt to pay you know, 300 bucks to see what three boxes hold, unless they're like photographs or diaries. <laughs> uh, estate sales have kind of slowed down because of the holiday, but hopefully they will kind of get, I don't even know the words, um, have a spring in their step and become more plentiful. Same with rummage sales and yard sales. But anyway, all that aside, quick little update. Let's get to the mail. First off, thanks to Mary in Lebanon, Georgia. Mary has sent several packages and some I've opened off air, but I want to share with you a few of the things that she has sent. She sent these darling red, white, and blue bells. Perfect for this past 4th of July holiday. I do not have any like this, so these are great. She sent two of those. She also sent some very cute red, white, and blue like fans. I have those, those were out. And then we have, these adorable, Hallmark Easter decorations, Easter eggs, 12 for a dollar. Oh my gosh. Sign me up for like five dozen. They're so little. Oh jeez. These are so cute. These would look great if you have a vintage Easter basket or just kind of to scatter around your shelves. Very cute. Thank you so much, Mary, for everything that you have sent. I hope you are well and I hope everything is good in Georgia. This is from our friend Joe out in Richland, Michigan. Joe has sent me some amazing things. How Joe finds all these things is beyond me, but 
Dear Miss Moose, here's an item that needs to come home. Perhaps a good subject for some history behind the paper research. Your friend, Joe. Joe, I think that you've sent me many things for history behind the paper. <laughs> I'm so far behind. It's... I, I, I think people... There's a, I think a misconception or even you yourself might think, you know, I'm self-employed. I have all this time in the world. You don't. Know, making videos for YouTube, editing those videos, doing the research for the videos, going out, waiting in line at estate sales, rummage sales, yard sales, trying to list stuff online, pack for the flea market, and then you know do my own research. It, it's a lot. I just don't have enough hours in the day. Also, when you're tired every day, I'm getting that checked out, hoping it's just low iron because I'm tired of having to take a nap every single day just to get through. We shall see. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. What? How do you? <laughs> I don't know how he does this. How he does this. This is from the Warren Chemical Company in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I recognize anyone. Uh, there's probably going to be a big glare. But... I want to say I know where this building is, but I don't want to misspeak. So, yes, Joe, you are right. I'm sure many in Phillipsburg would love to see this. And I could probably even put it on one of our Facebook pages, and I'm sure people could identify. They'd be like, oh, that's my Uncle, you know, Ed. And that's my Uncle uh, Will. This is amazing. Love it, Joe. You find the most amazing things ever. And how pretty that they have it decorated. I'm going to have to drive by <clears throat> and see if I can take a before and after photo. History behind the paper, Joe. You are right. Well, I hope that you are doing well. And I can't thank you enough for all the amazing things that you have sent me. Um, you know, it's a, little, it's a little warm out for that for my jacket, but I have it hanging up. And that's ready to go on those chilly mornings. I do enjoy wearing it. So thank you, Joe, so much for everything that you have sent. I hope that you're well. And I hope that you find some amazing treasures for yourself, too. I just don't know how you do this. <laughs> Joe is a treasure man, definitely. Next, we have from our tried and true frog-loving friend, Larry, out in L.A. Uh, not L.A., San Francisco. <laughs> Uh, Larry's had a hard time thrifting out there in San Fran. Um, it's been a little rough out in California, but I think things are slowly changing. This is coming handy. Oh, boy. Uh, Dear Hi, Renee, thanks again for all your video adventures. Enclosed a couple of items, one by Howard Pierce. Um, an American artist. Look him up. Best Larry. Well, thank you, Larry. Larry always comments. He watches every video. He has some great stories. He collects frogs amongst many other things. Trains. He also likes ephemera. So all of his comments and his stories are much appreciated in the comment section. I think we know. What are these? Oh my goodness. Are they little quail? They are. Oh, it's like a pen. Is it a pen holder? That can't be. They are adorable. They have to be little quail. Fun fact, used to have quail for their eggs. And like quail eggs are so rich. If you make a cake with quail eggs, it's going to be a good cake. These little guys are so cute. Put those there. I think there's a few more things in here. Oh geez, we're having a, we have to do some cleaning. Oh, how neat. That's awesome, Larry. So we have, it's called Drip Points, magazine for insulator collectors. How cool is this? New porcelain 
Mickey Mouse, manufactured in China. Oh, these people are still making them, like newer ones. They're called Mickey Mouse insulators, and it shows how they're made. How interesting. He wrote, insulator collecting as a serious hobby. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to take this to the beach. This will be a good beach read. Thank you so much, Larry. This is really neat. Like, there are so many things that I want to learn about. I better make sure this is recording. It is. Um, you know, that I want to learn about. And again, it's like the time. Um, you know, each day I'm, I'm trying to just put aside X number of, even if it's 15 minutes to, you know, work on the diaries, though that's not enough time, or, you know, research something. So thank you so much. And we also have a history of postcards. There's so much to learn about postcards too. From the postmarks to the artist. I mean, there are people that can recognize, ooh, that can recognize a, a postcard immediately um, from the artist. I'm not that good yet. You know, I can kind of recognize what is a decent postcard, um, but poster reform, the postcard is born. This is a good night read too. Maybe. I don't know if I want to bring this book to the beach. That's a little hefty, but I shall have to read it at night. This magazine, though, is a definite beach read. That will be fun. I think that's all on here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Well, thank you so much, Larry, and thank you always again for commenting and watching the videos and for passing along some insulator history collecting information and the cute little coil, too. Next, this is from our friend Rich out in Sacramento, California as well. Uh, Rich does a lot of storage units, so he has passed along some of the things he has found in these units. I'm waiting for a unit, because hopefully when I get one, it'll be a good one. It's just a matter of time. So, this is tightly packed. Uh, hi, Renee, I included, um, as some of the packing shipment material, um, some bubble bags. Oh, you can use to slip, slip um, to ship protect items you sell. Uh, they throw them out in my place of work. Hey, reuse it uh, with the trash, not trash for me, exactly. Um, let's see, this is the package. Oh, so this was like a huge deal. The package was sent out. Somehow it didn't go to my post office. Then it was sent somewhere else, then it was sent back to Ridge. So this package has seen like the United States twice. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, thank you, Rich, for your patience as well. Yeah, I don't need to buy bubble wrap. Thank you. It's like Christmas. A cup of Christmas tea by Tom Hegg. That's an autographed copy. It was to Pat. Oh, it's like a little poetry book with an article in the back about writing it. Interesting. Now I'm, I want a cup of tea. Uh, it needs to be washed, so it looks like, I want to say it's a pillowcase cover. Oh, it is. Oh, are they? Yes, they are. How cute. They're homemade. Oh, he's a cute little Santa with a puppy in the front instead of a sled. These are great to cover up your everyday normal pillows and make them festive. Lots of bubble wrap, thank you. <laughs> what is this guy? Oh. oh, how cute. Oh, a little clipper Santa. This guy is a classic. And here's his friend. <laughs> They're so cute. And we have some other little ornaments. We have some more Santas. We have, what is this little guy? I don't want to break it. Little angel ornament, ornament, ornament. And then this pretty one, it has an etch. It's an etched glass of a flower. I don't know how that is with glare. That's lovely on the side. Santa was in there so long, he multiplied. Oh, ooh. Vintage, don't know. So it is tinsel. 
You can usually tell by um, how it feels if it's a little bit heavier. I don't this. I don't think this would be Victorian because um, that's really heavy in weight, but I think it definitely is a little bit older. So you have some nice pink tinsel. I definitely think it is older. I don't think it's newer. It doesn't feel um, cheap like the newer tinsel usually does. No offense to the newer tinsel. And a whole bunch. We have some Santa and more Christmas. It's like Christmas exploded in the bag. Oh, that's a bell. <laughs> we have this little guy. I guess it's a reindeer, but it kind of looks like a rabbit. One of those like hanging things, kind of like a bean bag guy. Running out of room on the couch. Oh, we have some more linens. It's like a table, a placemat with a nice scene. You have a horse, the sleigh, the horse, the lake, or the pond. Always got to have that. <laughs> and a mailman. Probably delivering my mail. <laughs> we have some, it looks like they are dish towels, which are always useful. It's like, where do I go? Where do I go? We have cute little, these look like maybe they were Hallmark. These are Anesco. These are 1989 little gnomes. Anesco made a whole bunch of stuff. And we also have these little ornaments, like little thrown snowball guys. These look like they might be Hallmark, or they could be a Nesco too. Well, this is a nice little purse. I can use that for the flea market. Oh, he has a whole bunch of gift tags in there, paper. These will come in handy. Honestly, if you're at rummage sales, even thrift stores, and you see the wrapping paper and the gift tags, oh, here's some vintage ones. It's usually cheaper than even the dollar store, so you should just buy it and stock up on it because you'll never know when you'll need it. Oh, these are adorable. These are sliced bread for Moda, so maybe they're not vintage. They're not vintage. I don't think so. They're just made to look vintage, I think. But they're rather cute anyway. But yes, you know, shopping for the holidays at a thrift store can be rather um, thrifty for your, your wallet. Yeah, but this looks like a Victorian. He's really got the hair. It's like a, Victor <laughs> a Victorian styled Santa. We have some moose. Season's greetings. We have a snowman pretending to be a moose. And we even have a little moose sweater. I don't think that's gonna fit you, Pam. Maybe? No, it's a little small for her. <laughs> but it'll fit the other moose guy that I have. A moose sweater for moose. What is this? Poor guy. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. His ear. He's seen better days. <laughs> His one leg doesn't work either. Oh, he's so sad. He needs a good home. He can go with my island of misfit toys. Poor little guy. There's something in the bottom. We shall wait. <laughs> I'll let you guess. Guess what it is. Oh, you taped it. have scissors but we'll do it this way oh it's a whole bunch there's some oh they're so cute yeah this little CVS Santa from 1995 even CVS got into the the Christmas biz but look at these little guys they're adorable they're little snowman picks with little wooden guys as their friends. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look, we have a clown. 
you know what they say, everybody loves a clown. <laughs> it's a song and a joke. I know not everyone loves a clown. These are so cute. There's another guy in there. We even have a little bear. Oh, he's adorable. He's like a Yellowstone bear. He's really cute. A little robust. You have a toucan bird? What in the world? That makes me feel like I'm in the tiki room down at Epcot. Not Epcot. Magic Kingdom. Oh my gosh. Oh, and speaking of, look, it's Mickey. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign I should go to Disney World. I wish. I wish. I can really go for some of the food there right now. <laughs> There's still more people. There is still more. Again, we're going to save the one thing in the bottom. Oh my gosh. This is jam packed, Rich. Oh, how cute. And they use a paper clip on the bottom. Oh, that's adorable. Look at this guy. This is all full. Oh, she, she's another little safety pin, not safety pin, clothes pin girl. We have some angels. Oh, jeez. There's all sorts of things in here. A teddy bear. Another Santa. A little tree. This is like a good luck four-leaf clover. St. Patrick's Day tree. There's a mouse. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. This is full. I love to find a storage unit that had all this stuff in it. Oh my goodness. We even have there's some garland. There's so much. Oh, it's a bottle brush. Tradition of the Christmas tree, exclusively by Roman Ink. So we have a bottle brush that actually has decorations in it. On it, not in it. It's newer, but it's still... Oh, I don't want to break it. It's still very cute. It's glitterized. It has like the snow. Oh, Fifo. I had these. I still have them somewhere. This is where an American tab. Was this by Burger King? Oh, it was McDonald's. They had so many of these. They are so cute. And Fifo is such a cute, sad movie somewhere out there. I have the Fifo doll. Still have it. One World Christmas. Make sure it's still recording. You know how technology gets. Oh, we have a little village inn. This is a bell. This would be cute if you have the um, the lead skaters, or this would also look nice with some bottle brush Christmas trees around it to make yourself a little scene. Oh, we have some mighty leaf, ooh, loose leaf black tea, a winter solstice. Jubilant black tea with holiday spices. I, I need all the caffeine I can get. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. All right. What is this? Um, ornaments. Um, this is a cute box. So we have Santa, a train, a tea, and a soldier. Combining them all. Let me open it. Oh, they're little, like, um, just more ceramic little ornaments. They're rather cute. This is, this is a cute box. He said he thought it looked cute on a fireplace. It would with my cardboard fireplace that I found in the trash. Yes. That would look very nice on there. I'm running out of room. All right, we have a bag. He's cute. Or polystone, it says. Oh my gosh, they're so little. They're so tiny. Okay, folks, so I'll show you. There's more. These are, more, it's more garland. It's a whole bag. I will not open it because it will get everywhere, but thank you. I can use that. 
All right, so there's two things left in the box. There's one that's in a box, I haven't looked in it, and then there's this guy that I saw. <laughs> oh my gosh, what in the world, his face. <laughs> He's one of the jingly ones, and he has the Made in Japan little sticker on his bob. Oh, he is so cute. He's so happy to finally be out of that box. He's like, I was in a storage unit. Now I'm in this box. Finally, I'm open. Oh, he's adorable. Pam, do you like him? He's your new friend. <laughs> that face, though. Stand up there, buddy. It's your time to shine. All right, maybe you'll fit there. Stay. Oh, he's so cute. And last but not least, there is this small box. And it says vintage wall hangings Xmas. Okay. Oh, we have some homemade. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> we have that guy, and then we have this cute little wall hanging with a little bell. Make sure that that is it. It is. Well, thank you so much, Rich. There's so much there. You crammed a lot into that box. Um, between the little wooden ornaments to the holiday linens, and then of course, to the sad guy. <laughs> oh, his face. I do not have one that has a face like that, that is for sure. I'm gonna to have to get a group photo done of all of the um, pixie Christmas elves that I have, just so you can see the array of their faces, because there are many, 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 many. Well, thank you again. Uh, thank you to everyone, Larry, Joe, Rich, and Mary, thank you so much. If I have not opened your package yet, rest assured it is on the way. I'm working through them all. I just like to be able to show you all the great things that you all send me. It's amazing what you find in your travels, in the storage units that you buy online or just out in free piles. So thank you so much. Thanks again. I hope you all have a great day. And if you're out looking for your treasure, I hope that you find it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure. Thank you.